Blitz. Auto Blitz in one cylinder to spell. Okay, as you can see, here we give an example. And I will wait for it for all this six. Okay. Uh, I got a different one here. It's this one. Uh, this is called Airfix. And uh, as you can see, we have a uh, oops, very nice to try it too. But the scale is uh, just a little more. Uh, <laughs> as you can see here. Okay. So I got this one. Uh, today I will uh, use mid and Vallejo planes for this. Um, paint smart. Uh, no, I use this surface primer over here. Okay, to put on all this, this. But I'm going to use this uh, gel brown okay, from me. It's an awesome color. Uh, this is the color you can see here on this one. Okay. So uh, just let me uh, put this. I want to see you guys what are you talking. So. Sorry guys, I started uh, this calling, so now I am live for the So, this is the first test I'm doing for uh, live uh, directly on Facebook and YouTube too, okay? I got some friends just uh, see on YouTube and the other friends see on uh, Facebook, okay? So, here it is, here I am, uh, here, okay? So, uh, for this, I'm going to use two different airbrushes. Okay, I'm going to use this one. This is the Ansa. This is an Ansa airbrush. It's a 02.0. And I'm going to use the Infinity. Okay. So, but before, for the primer, I use one of these uh, guns. And these guns are very, very nice for using this, okay? So, uh, I'm going to change your part of the, the answer. Okay, it's ready to go. Uh, the infinity I'm going to use to make the stripes for the camo. So, guys, let's go. Go uh, brown, and I'm going to use the acrylic thinner, okay, from the two. Uh, on this because this is a very thick uh, paint okay because of the pigments uh, instead of it's big but if you use Vallejo hot the beer it's the same thing okay it's very thick the paint so I'm going to give a uh, good thing on this uh, guys use a mask okay for all the paints it's much better to use the paint okay So, taking this very well, I'm going to put here some drops. So, 10 drops of the paint. And now I'm going to put some of the thinner. Okay, it's a uh, 75%. Now I'm going to use a, a brush to mix all this and I'm going to put the first one in this. So I, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the quality of this, of the video, okay? So I got guys So, let's put the, set, the first coats of color this, so I'm going to turn all the vehicles. So this, this is for a customer. And let's start spreading uh, the first color.
first player on this and I think it would be more okay you can see the change colors
Now it's time to start uh, cleaning the airbrush. So let's clean this nicely. And we got the first coat of the paint. Uh, this one. Uh, this is for here. And let me remove here the cap and clean the airbrush too. Okay. So just here drops here. So it's very important guys to clean your airbrush if you want this to work good guys okay first one is done now let's clean your just the cap I'm sorry guys done with the cleaning okay so it's a very important guys to clean your airbrush now I'm going to pass for the infinity uh, the needle I am going to use it's the 0 0.5 okay and because I want to make the stripes very nice for that I'm going to use two different colors it's going to be the Choco Brown from MIG and the Olive Group Option 2 from MIG 2. So this is a very nice color for doing this. Normally I use Falejo, but at this time this is the colors I'm going to use because it's the colors of uh, my uh, client's shoes. Okay, so you must use the colors you want. <laughs> and we are good to go you can see here I paint the windows but uh, I have no problem with that because I put first the umbral mask call and at the end I just pull with my tweezers and it's going to have the clean uh, of this so stirs. first I'm going to use the um, olive groom for making the first stripes on this okay so let's shake, 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 shake very well. É verdade, Zé. É seu pescador a bombar. <laughs> oh, shake, 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 shake. Okay, I think it's done. Now, let's go and put on this. So, one, two, three, four, five drops. Okay, and now one, two, three. So I put five drops of thinner uh, of paint, and the thinner I put three. 
Okay, I want this to have a very nice flow. The pressure on this it's uh, about two bars or 1.9, and I think it's the what I'm going to need for this. So let's put the tracks there and let's start uh, with the first one. You can see first stripes. Now just make here. First one. Here two. So now let's go on this side. Go. just using like this okay now let's go to another Thank you. 
using the hand. Okay. utilizar 1.9 2.0 bar é o suficiente para estou a trabalhar com uma agulha 015 portanto é normal que tenha, tenha não posso ter tanta pressão normalmente até podia trabalhar aqui com 1.5 não havia problema ok uh... Nestes casos é muito importante que tenhamos sempre a, a tipo do airbrush limpa. Sempre que utilizamos uma agulha muito, muito fina, convém de ser uma coisinha para ser útil, ok? Sorry guys, just telling uh, when we are using a very, a very a thin needle. Okay, we must have always to address the tip. Okay, very clean. Just use a napkin with a little moist of the, the cleaning and we are good to go. Okay, so all this now I'm going to grab the only one. It's different for the other. It's this one. It's from Airfix. Okay, so let's put here some more. So let me see. Oh, if I don't miss everyone, uh, anyone, I'm sorry. I think they are all good, guys. So I put some more stripes, more large and more uh, different. Okay, so let's clean this. Yeah, just a little, little tip. 
and careful let's put on the, the pot and clean this and as you can see with just five drops and three drops of thinner you make all the camouflage okay so now let's grab uh, the shock of brown let me just drink some water You are seeing this on YouTube. Uh, you can see on my videos uh, by you, my Facebook page. Okay. So same thing, and I'm going to put one more drop on this. This is a little more thick than the, the green color. So. Let's clean this. Okay, so now let's start again with another. I said before this is very thick this one so so I need to have more Clean the tip. So very important to clean. The tip, okay. So one more done. Okay, so let's grab another. Guys, clean the tip, very important.
like I said, clean the tip again. the wheel and another one done. Clean the tip. see better what I am doing. So I'm cleaning the tip again. This is the perfect one. to another and uh, now the tip is getting a little uh, more stick so we've got here a cotton slab we put some thinner and just passing there we are on the tip you can see and we are good to go Mark, tudo bem? Eu não me esqueci de ti, por isso não é de passar em uma loja, ok? Estou cheio de trabalho. Que é bom sinal. E tem a minha casinha arrancada, é pior. 
Eu já tive, tive que ir desmarcar com um amigo meu, com o Ruda. Portanto, pá, não me levei mal. So, let's go. And you can see, oops, so I hope everything is getting nicer, okay, so this is the first time I'm doing the live on YouTube and on the Facebook at the same time. So I think we are done on all the camouflage. Okay. So we did all the camouflage on this. Uh, so using uh, on this meat paint. So let me clean now this. So at this time it's very important to clean our airbrush and with these kind of needles they are very very thin so we must clean this nice. the cap and start cleaning the interior I'm going to put here the cap sorry guys And cleaning nice this cup. So I know today I start this too soon, okay? There are lots of guys you can't see. But uh, the reason it's because I am making some tests and I want this to go nicely. So I need to take this a little more with foam. I'm just spraying it to the side. Okay, and good to go. So let's put all this away. So as you can see, they are now all with the camouflage and it's going to be very similar to this one okay so now uh, just put some you can see here I lose some paint here but it's not a problem because it's going to have this cap on the top and this is going to be painted with another color okay I'm going to paint all this first in black and then with the gray I make the shadow uh, to see the two this canvas okay so now I will paint this um, careful the, the, the tires all the tools okay uh, I put some 
right here I'm going to remove this so it's going to give a lit, uh, lots of difference on this and I'm going to paint down like you can see here so it's a much difference okay but this I'm not going to give you uh, a very hard time uh, tomorrow uh, let me see put here this okay so tomorrow I will start making the camouflage on the M3 three grand okay so you guys if you want to see this taking uh, the camouflage with the three colors you see tomorrow on my video okay and you see how I'm going to do it I'm going to use uh, some putty on this to make the camouflage and uh, let's see if it's right quickly if I can make uh, another thing uh, yesterday uh, yesterday I start making this uh, this mid 29 <coughs> sorry and the interior of the cockpit it's very very bad you don't have any details so I make the seat belts with some, some tape uh, like this okay so very very different so this is you can see this on the pictures I'm doing uh, let's see how it's go when I start gluing you are going to see it's going to have lo loads of putty to close this so it's going to give me a art time okay and I will start working too on this this is an abandoned uh, car I am doing and I'm going to make the diorama for this but uh, it's going to be other thing okay so this is one of the things I am doing too okay so tomorrow it's the M3 grand and now I'm going to start painting uh, the rest of this with calm because it's going to be with a brush and it's I will put some pictures for you guys to see uh, how the works its vehicles okay so guys uh, thank you very much uh, okay uh -huh. I see your uh, message of from my friend of tell you now you are on YouTube too <laughs> so guys uh, I see you guys tomorrow uh, I hope you enjoyed the, the video today it's uh, the first time I make on Facebook